And uh, the funny thing is, I remember leading up to the last couple of days, we're, we have a better chance of snow than Chicago or Detroit or a lot of cities that are used to having a white Christmas. You know, I've been thinking about this saying all day long, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. And that's exactly what's going on. We've got these abnormally cold temperatures coming in. And meanwhile, a lot of other spots across the East Coast and even up towards the poles are experiencing unusually warm weather. Here's what we've got going on. This is the GOES-17 satellite and a lot to unpack here. I just want to talk about the mechanics of some of this cold weather that's moving in. In really simple terms, this is a low pressure system right here, right? See how it's going counterclockwise? That's normal. These are the types of storms that we usually see coming in off Alaska and along the West Coast all year long. What we've got going on right now is a ridge of high pressure that's taking some of that cold air and delivering it over land. Now, whenever a storm comes in over top of the ocean, this ocean's about 48, 50 degrees here. So any storm that comes in is influenced by that water temperature, and that's normally why it comes in as rain here and then converts to snow in the mountains. When you take that cold air and run it over land and then run it through the Fraser Valley of British Columbia, Canada, you get something called the Fraser outflow. And you're going to have moisture coming in off the ocean, meeting up with some of that brutally cold air. And that's why we're looking at snow potential here and temperatures that are going to drop and stay low for several days. So snow levels were around 1500 feet today. Look at this for the foreseeable future. They're going to get down to sea level and stay there. Now, a couple big things happening this weekend. I'm sure you've heard Chris miss is taking place tomorrow. It looks like we're going to stay right above the freezing mark in Seattle. So what that means is a bit of a rain snow mix. It's really up to Santa whether or not he's going to deliver some snow into your yard. It really depends on exactly where you're located. Obviously, the further north, the better. We're going to see winds coming in from the southwest about 10 to 20 miles an hour. The other big thing this weekend is the Seahawks game. That'll be on Sunday. If you are still planning on going, I just took a look. Yep, there's still tickets available. In fact, I found one for 40 bucks if you want to go. But know this, it's going to be really cold. We're talking about temperatures that won't break the freezing mark. There are some flurries possible. There could even be an inch or two of snow on the ground there. Now this is good news for the Seahawks. The two times that they've played a snow game at home, they've won both times. They beat the Bears once and they bet the, beat the Jets once. It was Mike Holmgren's last game. So we'll see if it works out for him on Sunday. In the meantime, we got watches and warnings aplenty. We've got a winter weather advisory in place for all of our mountains until 4 a.m. And then winter weather advisory in place for some of the lowlands that'll be in place until 4 a.m. There, we could be seeing some accumulating snow. I'll show you that in a moment. Let me show you the moisture that's going to meet up with all this cold air. This is 630 tomorrow morning. We've got a bound of showers moving through. We're going to start off with little bands moving through throughout the day, and we could see some sun breaks, especially as we go towards tomorrow afternoon, right around 1 p.m. But those bands of rain and snow will keep coming through all throughout the day. This is Sunday morning at 630. Looks like we're going to be seeing more of that moisture coming in and then finally winding down right in the middle of the night, Sunday into Monday, when that really cold air starts to push in. So take a look at snow accumulation. Yes, obviously the mountains are going to do great here. Baker and White Pass could be picking up close to two feet of fresh new snow, 13 inches up at Stevens Pass, 19 inches at Snoqualmie. And in the lower elevations between now and Sunday, look at that. We could be picking up some snow right at sea level as well, about an inch or two in Seattle and about three inches up towards Everett. Overnight lows tonight are going to be chilly. Most of us getting below freezing and your seven day forecast shows that cold air moving in and staying here. Look at this overnight temperatures will touch into the teens Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday and it looks like we won't break the freezing mark any of those days. Mm.